Well, everyone, you read that right. Volta, NVIDIA's newest GPU architecture, has landed in something other than a data center GPU. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before I get started, if you want to stay up to date on gaming hardware news, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you love talking hardware and gaming, be sure to check out the GamerMeld Discord server. That's linked in the description below. Okay, so NVIDIA has officially unveiled their first Volta powered GPU designed for the personal computer, and it's a doozy. Unfortunately for those hoping to get their hands on NVIDIA's next generation GPU in the mid or low range department, you're going to have to wait a little longer. No, the card NVIDIA showed off today is called the Titan V, and it's a whopping $3,000. Hold on, don't freak out too much. There's a reason it's so expensive, and I'll go over that in just a minute. First though, let's go over a few things on this monster, which was just unveiled and actually is available for purchase now. Okay, for one, as you can see, the Titan V looks fairly similar to past Titan cards, except also completely different because it's, uh, yeah, it's got some serious gold trim and fully puts the V and Titan V on display. It's probably going to be a love it or hate it type scenario. When it comes to specs, the Titan V GPU utilizes the 12 nanometer process, which is a nice shrink from the current Titan Pascal based 16 nanometer technology. Despite this though, the Titan V comes in a massive die size of 815 millimeters squared, which is the theoretical limit of their current technology. It comes with 12 gigabytes of HBM2 video RAM. Y yep. You heard that right, HBM2, the stacked VRAM used in Vega. It uses a 3072-bit memory bus, which gives the Titan V a theoretical memory bandwidth of 652.8 gigabytes per second. Compare that to the Titan XP's 547 gigabytes per second bandwidth of its GDDR5X memory. Of course, the biggest part everyone wants to hear is the card's horsepower. Well, don't worry, because it doesn't disappoint. The Titan V comes packed with the same 21 billion transistors on the recently released Tesla V100 AI card. It gets an incredible 5,120 CUDA cores and is clocked at a base frequency of 1200 MHz with a boost of 1455. This gives the Titan V a potential FP32 computational power, the number gamers should be concerned with, of 15 teraflops. That's a very respectable jump from the Titan XP's 12.1 teraflops. The next portion of its specs brings us to more than likely why this card costs an almost unbelievable three grand instead of say the 1200 of their current Titan XP. Tensor cores. If you haven't heard of it, you're forgiven because tensor cores are geared specifically for AI type algorithms. If you've seen other information on the Titan V, you may have seen Nvidia quoting 110 teraflops. Don't get too excited because that's referring to these specially designed cores for AI specific calculations. These won't have anything to do with FP32 computations that are used in gaming. This is also why it was revealed at a neural information conference instead of something more geared towards consumers. Don't get me wrong, this card is incredible at gaming, it's just not geared exclusively for it. Well, technically no Titan has, but this one even less so considering others don't have these newer cores. I really think one thing that we should be hoping for is a Titan in the future that negates them for a cheaper price tag. Until then, there's one thing that's for certain, while Nvidia's newest Titan V isn't just for gaming, it's hands down the best gaming card out there. And while that does it for today, while I've given you the facts, I really want to know what you think. Do you want to buy the card? Are you excited for it, just don't really care? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.